Here we have an assembly of a femur bone and a hip implant device. And our goal is to determine how well this particular implant design is going to work in service. So we'll test it virtually inside of Simulia structural validation. We have two parts. There's both the bone and the implant. Materials have already been assigned to each of these components. You can see that the implant has an, a titanium alloy material. The bone has a bone material. The parts are not yet connected, so that will be our first step in setting up the simulation. I want to set these up using a bonded interaction, so I'm going to use the automatic detection tool to find pairs of surfaces that are touching, and then I can determine if I want them to have a bonded connection. In this case, I want both of these surface pairs to behave as if they're completely bonded because it's a cemented kind of connection that's actually occurring in the model. I need to apply restraints. In fact, I just have a simple restraint that I need to define at the um, at the knee joint region. So let's just select some surfaces here that I will clamp. And we'll apply a clamp definition and you can see that we now are complete with respect to having the required restraints applied. And our next step is to apply a load. I'm going to apply a load on this face here, which is uh, the region associated with the implant. And we'll just de define a normal force in this region. And you can see now we have our model entirely defined. We have green check marks indicating that everything has been uh, minimally satisfied at least, all the way down to ready to simulate. And now I can click on simulate to bring up options to run the simulation. I can choose first the simulation accuracy from draft to good to better to best and choose the number of cores. In this case I'm running on two cores and I hit OK to start the simulation. And with the simulation now complete I can look at the results.